Hello, my friends. Liberty Garden coming to you from the home gym, September 4th. Happy Labor Day. Um, today I'm working the squat, the overhead press, and the deadlift. Uh, the squat at 230 pounds last time felt a little heavy. Uh, so adding another five pounds today to the to the bar would have been uh, asking for trouble and maybe losing my form. And it's just not very good. So starting today, I'll be changing the program to increase my weight five pounds per week. Up until now, I had been increasing my weight uh, five pounds per workout. So I'm getting to a point where I can't do that anymore. It's getting heavy. So I'm just going to increase five pounds per week now. <clears throat> so the changes I'll be making will be the following. I'm going to break the program into three parts. Volume, back offsets, and a heavy day. So... Monday, I will work volume, which is today, at 70% of uh, of the max, of the previous week's max. So 70% of 230 is roughly about 160. That's what I'm doing today. And then Wednesday will be a back offset at 80% of 230. And then Friday will be a heavy set at uh, 5 pounds plus from last week so friday will be 240 pounds or 235 pounds i'm sorry yeah i think it's 235 so today i'm pretty much doing two sets of eight at 160 uh, as you can see they're going down nicely i'm focusing on form focusing on the technique making sure i don't do I, I don't I, I don't tip forward, I don't tip backwards. I just stay straight up and down with the bar kind of centered across the center of my of my feet. That's where the bar should be. If you look at it from the sides, the bar should be like a straight line between the middle of your foot and the bar should be in alignment. So that's what I'm focusing on. And the last set is one by nine at 160. And this is pretty much uh, a total of 25 reps at a volume of 4,000 pounds of displacement. Uh, normally I do sets of five, but since it's a little volume day, I'm adding sets of eight, just to uh, keep it a little more interesting. I was thinking of doing a five by five, but uh, I decided to go with the three by three, uh, three by eight or two by eight and one by nine. I think that's, uh, uh, that worked out a little better. All this has went down pretty smoothly, up and down nicely. No worries, no tiring, just a little extra volume. Next uh, is the overhead press. Uh, the overhead press is also starting to get a little heavy. Uh, you know, I used to work out before uh, from the October 2021 to March 2022 I was working out uh, at a starting strength gym and that's where I kind of learned the techniques and how to do these exercises properly but I got injured at the farm my shoulder got injured uh, I was downloading some pallets and I felt a, a real nasty pinch doing it and after that I couldn't I couldn't do the press anymore and I couldn't do the bench so this is the first time I, I hit this weight, uh, 100 pounds, I think it's the first time, or maybe I, at the gym I did one or two. But anyway, I'm starting to feel a little heavy. So I'm at 100 pounds, I think, uh, and up until now I've been adding five pounds to the bar every session. So I think going forward, I'm gonna start adding two and a half pounds to the bar. And I have these little bitty plates that are 1.25, so you put them each, on each side and that, that gives you the, the five extra pounds increment, or the two and a half pound increment. Because the shoulders are a little more sensitive. Um, uh, <clears throat> I think uh, I don't know if you can see on my on on the bar. There's an imbalance towards the left side. Uh, the, the bar kind of 
goes to the left. I thought it was a matter of strength, but I'm also seeing this uh, this imbalance during the squat. They kind of tend to lean towards the left hand side. I'm starting to think it's a um, a problem of a, an asymmetrical skeletal structure, <laughs> basically a little bit of a crooked back, or I don't know, maybe some muscular asymmetry. I'm not sure, but uh, I just got to keep that in mind and, and try to correct it as it happens. Mm. It's the more reason to keep on keep on adding weight to the bar and training, you know, build up your muscles in case your back starts getting a little deformed. You know, as, as you get older, your, your back starts getting a little deformed. It gets, starts getting, you're starting to hunch over, or etc. So keeping your back with muscle and it helps. I think uh, when I was going back to the gym back in back in the twenty twenty second when I was back back at the starting strength gym, I think I did one or two max, and that was about it. And then I got injured, so after that I just started doing other things like rows, etc. But I was never able to get back on the on the overhead press. The overhead press is is uh, is taxing. I mean, your shoulders, your shoulders and your upper chest, but mostly your shoulders. You feel it the most there. So you gotta take it slow. Don't wanna, don't wanna get uh, injured. Um, the deadlift, uh, the probably my my favorite exercise up until this point. I hear guys that are doing five hundred pound deadlifts. They say that it's not their favorite exercise anymore. <laughs> but uh, beginners apparently the the deadlift is the is the favorite ex exercise because that's where you can displace the most weight. Uh, Again, uh, the deadlift is also getting a little bit heavier. Uh, last time I did 275. I think the most I've, I ever did at the gym was 310. Uh, and it was just uh, three reps in a row. So I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, so far, I've been doing five pound increments per session. And on this one too, I am going to be doing only a five pound increment per week. So today... I'm working volume, which is 80% uh, of max, or roughly 220 pounds of uh, 275. So I'm doing 220 today. And uh, I'm just gonna take it easy and do two sets of five on this one. Uh, just uh, nice and easy, no, nothing, nothing to write home about, just uh, keeping the back engaged throughout the week so that on Friday I can I can put 280 pounds on the bar and, and lift it five times. I think on Wednesday, I will be doing a back offset. So on Wednesday, I'll do a back offset at around 90% of max. And that'll put me at around 250 pounds for a set of five. And that's all I'm gonna do for the deadlift on, on Friday, on, on Wednesday. So that come, uh, come uh, Friday, I can do the the full amount of uh, two, 280. And that's the workout, my friends. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do some exercise. I know you. most of the people who watch my channel, they're over 35, hovering 40, 50, 60. Uh, that's the time when you need the most. That's one that you need the most to do some bench, some uh, exercise, some heavy lifting, uh, because that's when we start our bones start deteriorating. Our, I mean, we we tend to fall more often when we get older, etc. So you need to be strong, and just uh, just have the muscle and try to keep.